All right, hey everybody. Uh, again, real quick, David, you're a piece of shit, by the way. I was talking to one of the channel members earlier, look at me glow, because um, he was asking how I got the NDAs, and I've actually FaceTimed with him. And the the conversation, we talked for quite a bit. Um, what we talk about and is one of the things we were talking about is how David says he can cure cancer and that his those cancer patients don't need to to take their medication. We were talking, maybe he's taking, the cancer patients are bringing them their medication, some of those really powerful painkillers, because again, some of the people here believe, David, that you're doing drugs. No doubt. We believe that you're heavily medicated. We don't know where you're getting the medicine from, but you know, you're, you're displaying typical behavior. No doubt. So out of that, this is just, again, an assumption. If you're telling cancer patients to give up their medication that they don't need to take it, you know, and if they're bringing it to you, like you're getting some really good stuff, okay? Um, the whole seven nights of desperation, that's what, that's what I'm, I'm, look at me glow coin that. And it was, it really was. It was like, it was, it was seven nights of desperation for you, David. Like that's, you were there just begging, begging for money. Either you were getting a lot of money and you were getting greedy or you weren't getting, getting enough money and that's why you stayed on so late because the one night you stayed on till about three o'clock in the morning just sitting there listening to the bad play all right so we're trying to figure out where all your money is and it's got to be running dry david you have to be running out soon because we who's going to be donating to you the same people over and over um and your July, if we're under the impression, if you don't show anything in July, like you're going to lose, you're going to lose all credibility with, with your people, David. July is going to be your make or break. And that maybe that, that might explain why the U-Haul has been at the house, you know, with equipment. Maybe you're going to do the live stream out of the, out of the mansion. And the other thing is, is the pallets of water really questioning that? Like, what the fuck are you doing with so much water? You know how many plastic bottles that is? What are you doing? Recycling them? Selling, like, blessing the pallets of water and saying it's holy water? Is that is that a scam? Is that one of your scams where you're taking all that water and sell it, reselling it? I, but I don't think you are. But again, that's a lot of water, man. So I don't know what the hell you're doing with all the pallets of water. It's, that just kind of blows my mind, too. So questionable shit that you're doing. Another thing we brought up was... The fact that we haven't seen your taxes and how that how that tax clock runs is because basically from 2017 until now, you don't have any taxes. 18, 19, 20, 21, that's four years. You're supposed to be showing taxes, David. You have to show taxes with, with KOGGC. You've changed the name. You have to provide tax documents and you haven't done that, okay? Last year paid was 2017. You couldn't be a not-for-profit and what I'm trying to figure out is what that tax clock is for David. Like if he has to, if he has a certain amount of time before he has to, you know, start filing for taxes again or before he'll lose his tax ID number. But I'm pretty sure he's already, he's within that time limit of where he has to start filing taxes basically with his new name, but it's all a scam. And the other thing we talked about is Tony, Steve and Ashley, they're always up there emphasizing David shut away to people like emphasizing what it's about and how long he's been in shutaway. But again, it's we what me and look at me glow. We're talking about with is the fact that how much they're having to emphasize his shutaway and how, why it's taking so long. And did he leave the country already? Good possibility. Never know. I mean, he's got passports, you know, I don't see why he wouldn't, but again, I don't think he's that smart to do it. Um, we were talking also, it's a better money maker if he's going doing live, if he's doing live stuff. But again, the whole thing, I mean, you can't go live, David, because we've ruined your show for you. we ruined your delusional fucking shows for you. The answering service is real. That is actually confirmed. So they do have an answering service. If they don't, if they don't recognize your number, they send you over to the answering service. So they do have that. And it makes me wonder how much, how much it is per call for them to pick up. And, and the go, the Ghost Rider NDA, we also came up with an assumption that that NDA is also covering the the 
the testimonials that people have written and spammed out on Facebook Messenger to people. Yeah, we're we're assume we're under the assumption that it's going to cover that. And how David is fishing for for people is what he's doing is he's going on to other like he's going on to um, Benny Hinge, Joel Olstein, Kenneth Copeland, you know, all those other websites and trying to fish people from there. And again, you're preying on the weak and vulnerable. You know, David, that's that's what you do. Because it's like you're, it's almost like a slave labor cult, what you're doing. No doubt. Uh, was that it? And yeah, if you're a, you're a wannabe Benny Hinn. You're like a failed Benny Hinn imposter. Like you took all, you took his whole playbook, dude. David, you took his whole playbook and just ran with it. You couldn't even come up with your own bullshit. You had to do somebody else's. You know, and everybody knows Benny Hinn's a piece of shit, too. So, I mean, if you're trying to be like him, I mean, you're just a piece of shit. You're just a piece of shit like him, David. Again, you're the anal afterbirth of Benny Hinn. That's what you are, man. Benny Hinn just said, there's David Taylor. <laughs> Benny Hinn took a David and wiped his Taylor. <laughs> That's what you are, David. Um, okay, I just this was just going to be a quick one. Okay, so the tax clock, when is he going to have to file taxes again for this organization? Because you're claiming now to be a church again and a non-for-profit, you know. Where's the money coming from? Yeah. All right. All right, you guys, that was it. It's, it's another quick thing that I talked about with Look At Me Glow. And just a quick background on him, if anybody doesn't know. Um, he, he has somebody very close to him that has stage 4 brain cancer. And where he got into this stage is when... He, when David started telling people to send in their chemo money, so he took this very personal. And he's a nice guy. I spoke with him. Super nice. I, he's, I love having him on the channel. He's great. And he, he's even more personable, like, when you talk to him, you know. And um, he's taking this very personal. And I, I understand completely. Don't worry. I'm with you. I get it. 100%. So, you guys, any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. David, you're a piece of shit. And this... Why we're doing this is just because of the story that I told you about my friend. Um, look at me glow. And that's where he got. When, when you're doing your... Probably about six months ago, he said, when he got into you. When you started telling people to send in their chemo money. Mm -hmm. So, again, you're a piece of shit, David. Keep running, keep hiding. And, uh, you know, just, just disappear for us. I mean, we would like to, again, we would like to see you come out, but I, we don't think you're going to. We really don't think you're going to. And your whole stage idea, that's just ridiculous, dude. So, you guys have a good evening. See ya.